My name's Lynn Perron and I'm a marketeer. My name's Jo Parker and I'm a marketeer too. We have known each other since 1983. I was working in, an av in advertising. I was selling advertising space in Pall Mall and Lynn walked in with a massive bag of clothes. She was selling them. It's called a hawker, so it was good fun. I always used to go to Joe's um, office because um, we'd get a bottle of wine if we actually hit 20 shirts a day and if I only sold 18, I'd always go to Joe because she'd always buy them. Sucker. <laughs> <laughs> For me to say something about Jo that really stands out in my mind is that Jo has got a great bright personality, a killer smile and laughs a lot. Say something about Lynn is that she's got presence and bundles of enthusiasm. She's a bit like a great dame puppy when she gets going. She doesn't really know how much enthusiasm she's got or how much energy she's got and she oozes it and charges at you. I remember that. <laughs> the dynamic is a bit of a bickering dynamic behind the scenes. But what you do get from us is once we've done the bickering, you get, uh, you get the whole picture. We will argue different sides of, the, of each situation in not a particularly grown up way, but you don't get to see that. It's really important to have a connection with your client good, good in a friendly man manner, absolutely. We're with you every step of the way and we are constantly talking about what we can do if a house has not received any viewing requests or anything like that. Yeah. We will be working with you. I would say the majority, 50-60% well, of our clients remain in contact with us and or friends. We had a client who um, was happy to just do it organically and then suddenly they did what some clients do and they went to fell in love with a house and so all of a sudden it was like we need to sell it and we need to sell it now. So it was like we'll pull out the stops for you, we'll do everything we can for you and um, we were literally available for them 24 hours a day though we wouldn't actually recommend that because it was tiring we did find a buyer we did do extra marketing we did do extra phone calls and we, we found a buyer for them really quickly and we got the exchange done within a couple of weeks so if Lynn was shipwrecked on a desert island where all her food and water needs are taken care of the two items that she would take would be two phones <laughs> So seriously, she definitely need a mobile phone because she's like going out with a teenager and you have to stop her from using her mobile phone a lot. And lipstick. Definitely lipstick. If um, Jo was stuck on a desert island with all the food and water, thank goodness for that, the two items that she would need um, to have with her is definitely her hairbrush, definitely her hairbrush, and probably her lip gloss. Probably that's where we're quite similar. If you do want to find your next nest or you do want to sell your current nest, give us a call. Cool.